Hello everyone. So I want to start today by saying I apologize. Week five, um, I have not been on the scene as much, but guess who's been there? Viv, and she's co-leading um, the week that where we're talking about online communities and how you can build a sense of community within your online courses or your blended classroom. And so um, I apologize uh, for not being as present, but I haven't felt it as guilty because Viv is doing an excellent job through her webinars. I'm traveling and I'm actually still going to, I'm gonna be in a plane when our class is happening Monday night. So Lonnie Ritter Hall, who knows probably as much about online communities as I do. We co-wrote the book, uh, The Connected Educator, together, and um, she has helped me uh, for many, many years now in thinking through and synthesizing research and really applying what we've learned together is going to be um, co-leading the class, the webinar, uh, Monday evening. So you'll be in good hands there. Um, I think Fiona's going to join us, and this will be her first one, and she's actually going to do her five-minute lesson. So Lonnie's going to be there to support that. Viv and Lonnie are actually going to co-teach the uh, webinar together. And um, so that'll be exciting to see what we come up with. But here's what I want you thinking about this week. As you look through uh, the discussions that Viv has put together for you, and you're kind of thinking out loud, thinking about this idea of online communities of practice. What I want you to really consider is, can you build an online community within your classroom space um, in such a short amount of time as an online course usually takes place? So there is distinction between networks and communities. Networks are usually those places that are about you. They're where you're trying to make connections with people so that you can learn, you cherry pick. Um, they're very much about your own learning and you deciding who you're gonna learn from and when and how you're gonna learn it. Communities are different. A community is where everybody makes a commitment to each other. It's more about the we. And we, you can't pick who you're given, just like you couldn't have picked the people in this class, you were given them. And then it's, but it's making a commitment to grow together and to learn together over time. So some would suggest that in a blended environment where you have access to the learners for maybe as much as a school year, you have a chance to really build an online learning community, maybe with the faculty at your school. But in a short uh, two-week, five-week, ten-week course, that may not be the case. However, what you can do is you can understand not so much how to build an online community, but understanding how to build a sense of community. And that's very different in deciding what about this attribute of trust? Is trust an intricate, uh, integral key ingredient to building a sense of community or a sense of belonging? How about um, groundwork and ground understandings and, and being very intentional about the language we use and the commitment we're making to each other? And um, can that build a sense of community? So a sense of identity, sense of collective identity. You know, there are some people who really believe that it's co-constructed content that builds a sense of community, a shared purpose that we have and a shared space. And so these are the kinds of things we, we are really gonna be talking about on Monday night with Lonnie and Viv and starting to think about not only this concept of online communities, learning communities, whether they happen face-to-face -face or online, a very powerful construct, but can we implement that sense of community, that sense of belonging, that sense of we're in this together and none of us is as smart as all of us kind of feeling in online courses? Should we? And um, is it possible in a short amount of time? So if you'll come prepared uh, tomorrow to be able to discuss those kinds of things and more, I know uh, Lonnie has a great uh, introductory activity you're going to do about connections. Fiona probably is going to be here, we hope, to do our to do her five-minute lesson. And then Viv and Lonnie will kind of take you through some thinking and some co-constructing of ideas around um, building a sense of community in your courses. And I will see you online Tuesday where we start to think about week six. And let's scroll down, take a look. Week six, we're really going to be looking at this idea of knowledge building and pedagogical concerns. And I'm going to be building the content in that the whole week and um, taking us through that. We're going to really look at what is, how do you build uh, cognitive presence and how do you build this idea of knowledge building and knowledge construction and deconstruction of ideas and how do you get your students to do that. All right, have a great time and I'll see you online on Tuesday. Bye everyone.